G'day and welcome to the channel. In today's video I'm visiting this beautiful yellow daisy field to photograph some butterflies. I've got this Canon 200F2 to try out. I've never used this lens before. I'm very happy to be using it. I'm going to be using it with the two times as you can see on there. I've actually got my 5D Mark III because I'm recording with the 5D Mark IV. Basically I'm just going to walk around and try and get as many photos as I can of these beautiful butterflies in amongst the flowers. That's the goal for today. Hopefully you'll enjoy the video. Without further ado, let's get stuck into it. All right, so there's quite a few butterflies here. We've got uh, Australian Painted Ladies, which are just a beautiful butterfly, and the common brown butterfly. So this lens is pretty amazing at <laughs> creating those smooth backgrounds. It just looks beautiful. The hard part's trying to get the butterfly without the flowers being too distracting. So there are quite a lot of flowers, sort of waiting for a butterfly to land up higher if possible. Uh, so that, oh, there's one. <laughs> do now is isolate a butterfly and hopefully that it lands on top of one of these flowers. I can see one. With all wildlife, it always looks better if you have eye contact, so I am mindful of that and trying to get down as low as I can. That's why we need the butterflies up high so that I can get eye level with them without them getting um, hidden in the bush. There's a butterfly down here, but it's sort of facing away from me and it's not ideal. So I'll just show you on the screen now what I'm talking about. I'm not happy with that shot. Got three painted ladies just over here. There we go. Oh, look at that up on the top. An amazing little session there. I <laughs> got quite a few shots. So they're just flying around. It's a matter of just waiting and biding your time and hopefully a, a butterfly will land close enough and with the right pose. And that's what wildlife photography is all about. It's just getting yourself in the right spot, being prepared, having your settings going. So I've actually gone out to f2.8 now. F2 is just too narrow a depth of field and it's hard to get sharp shots. So I'm just having a play around at 2.8, which is still very narrow but uh, the images should be a little bit sharper. And with the butterflies, because their wings come out, and if you're focusing on the middle of the butterfly, 
sometimes their wings will be a little bit out of focus so it can be a bit tricky to get the whole butterfly in focus. So there's a butterfly over here that I've just photographed but it's got flowers directly behind it and I'm not a big fan of that so it makes it hard to focus on the butterfly and there's nothing I can do, it doesn't matter about the lens, it's just purely the positioning of that butterfly. I can't get a nice shot because of where it is so I have to wait for it to move somewhere else. I want to try and isolate a butterfly away from the other flowers so we can try and get it against the smooth background. So I've sort of come to the edge of these uh, everlasting daisies and I'm going to hope that a butterfly lands on one of these more exposed um, areas so we can get that clean out of focus background. So that's the goal. Now we just have to wait and hope a butterfly lands where we want it to. Alright so exactly what I had hoped happened. You can see these daisies just directly behind me. A common brown butterfly landed on the top. I was sitting here. I've taken some shots, got that really smooth out of focus background. It turned out to be a really nice shot I think and again it's just thinking about what you want. I want a clean background. I need to go to a location that has that and that's exactly what I did here and managed to get those shots. Yeah, so I'm not having too many dramas with 200 millimeters. It seems to be working out all right. I can get pretty close, so that's not a drama. I might get the two times, whack it on and just see what a difference it makes. Alright so I've just put the two times on so now we're a 400 f4. We'll see how that works getting me closer to these butterflies. So I can see a butterfly right behind me. There's a butterfly quite far away. I just want to show you what a difference the background can make. So if I'm down low and I'm shooting up, I get some trees. And simply by, if I stand, just by moving, just by moving, I've completely changed that background. So you can see from the first shot to the last shot, just purely moving up and down, so that's a good tip. We're just waiting for a butterfly to jump up. There, look. So we're just waiting and they're just popping up over and over again. The two times definitely makes a massive difference. Uh, having 400 millimeters, the butterflies are just way bigger. Oh, damn it, I missed it. Let's try and shoot through this gap here. There's a butterfly feeding right in front of me.
Who thought you could work up a sweat taking photos of butterflies? This is amazing. So I was very fortunate there that the butterfly was up on a flower. It was actively feeding and it was sort of sitting still. I'm using, I actually put the aperture out to 7.1 just to get a bigger depth of field. Our shutter speed was fairly low but with IS on the lens, hopefully the images were sharp. But that was amazing. Well that's what photography is all about isn't it? Just getting out losing yourself in the moment and just taking lots of photos. I had such a good time. I honestly was just so passionate and just so focused on those butterflies. I know I'm a bird photographer, but I think just having anything in front of your lens and enjoying yourself is the key and that's what it's all about. Obviously this lens was amazing. I really enjoyed it. It's a 200 F2 Canon, very specialist lens, very fast, but it was amazing. It focused so quickly, it's light. I believe hopefully the photos are nice and sharp and, and good quality. It took the two times really well, so I was able to shoot at 400 f4. When I put the two times on, it was noticeable just how much bigger those butterflies were. And I, I like those sorts of shots. Your backgrounds are a little bit more out of focus. I did purposely today stand back a little bit and try and get some more habitat type shots because I'm always guilty of just photographing the bird. Uh, bird, we're talking about butterflies. Photographing the subject really close. So I have to force myself to step back get a bit wider, try to be a little bit creative and get some different shots. So I took lots of photos today, so I'll be interested to see which ones you like. Let me know in the comments below. As you saw, I'm always moving, I'm always looking at the subject, thinking about my background, what my angle is, what my height is, making sure my settings are right. So that's the key, is just to be aware of the sort of photos that you want. Don't just stand there and shoot down. You need to be thinking constantly about the photos, maybe check them on the back of the camera and just keep moving, trying different things, and that's what we did today. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it half as much as I enjoyed taking those photos. Leave the comments below, I'll answer all of them. Thank you to the members for the ongoing support, and just get out there and enjoy your photography. So until the next one, thank you very much for watching, and bye for now. See you later. <laughs> it, the fun never stops, I <laughs> literally stopped recording. Turned around, there's a butterfly there, got down, took some photos, I'll show you on the screen. It just never ends. But this light's almost too good actually, I've got to go and photograph my butterflies. Until the next one, take care, see you later. Alright, well, well, if you enjoyed this video as much as I... Well, if you enjoyed the video half as much as I did and... Well, it would really help... Alright, so it would help me a great deal if you thumbed up. It would help me a great deal if you 